Hi students, welcome back to our channel. So we are going to proceed with chapter 6, Circulatory System. Here are the learning objectives for chapter 6. So by the end of this chapter, students should be able to differentiate organisms with circulatory system and without any circulatory system. Circulatory system can be divided into two main types. They are open and closed circulatory system. Number two, compare single and double circulation of blood. Number three, explain the structure and function of the heart and blood vessels. Number four, describe the physiology of the heart and blood circulation. Number five, explain normal and abnormal ECG. Number six, Describe the factors affecting heartbeat. Number seven, describe diseases related to blood vessels. Number eight, describe how blood pressure and velocity reflects the structure and arrangement of blood vessels. Last but not least, discuss the causes and symptoms of lymphoma and lymphedema. Circulatory system is the system that circulates blood, we call that cardiovascular system, and limb, lymphatic system, throughout our body. So this is uh, the cardiovascular system, and here, the green ones, uh, is the lymphatic system. Cardiovascular system, in Greek, cardia means heart, while vas means vessel. Uh, larger animals require uh, the circulatory system to uh, efficiently distribute materials. A circulatory system consists of three parts. The heart, uh, which acts as a pump. Uh, blood, uh, the connective tissue consisting of cells and cell fragments dispersed in plasma. And also blood vessels, a system of tubes that carry blood. Circulatory system play a vital role in vertebrates. Uh, their function are to transport nutrients from the digestive system and storage depots to each cell. Transport uh, oxygen and carbon dioxide. Uh, of course, this is uh, for our respiratory system. Uh, transport metabolic waste from each cell to organs that excrete them. This is uh, our excretory system. Transport hormones from endocrine glands to target tissues. Uh, this is endocrine system. Next, helps maintain fluid balance, homeostasis. Uh, help maintain body temperature by transporting heat, particularly important for endothermic animals uh, such as birds, mammals, uh, us humans. This is also hemostasis, part of hemostasis. Uh, next, helps stabilize the pH, also hemostasis. Uh, next, uh, defend the body against invading organisms. Uh, this is our immune system. Look at how circulatory system related to other systems in our body. Components of blood, plasma and blood cells. Blood composition and function. Vertebrate blood is a connective tissue consisting of cells suspended in plasma, a liquid matrix. Uh, this one it shows a, a centrifuge machine. Okay, this machine separates substances of different densities in a sample by rotating the sample at a very high speed, uh, causing the substance to be displaced outward. So, um, a centrifuge is used to separate whole blood into component parts and the components as you can see over here uh, this part is the plasma 55% and 45% is the cellular elements consists of cells and cells fragments denser substances tend to be displaced from the center more than ones that are less dense this diagram shows separated blood elements. 
the above one is plasma 55% blood plasma is this yellowish liquid component of blood it is mostly water and they are also made of ions plasma proteins and substances transported by blood over here is the cellular elements uh, leukocytes uh, these are different types of leukocytes we have basophil eosinophil lymphocytes neutrophils and monocytes and this one also here which part consists of platelets at the bottom of the test tube is the erythrocytes they are the most dense cellular elements this table shows blood components and their functions as you see here 55 percent of our blood volume consists of the plasma components these are the functions of the components whereby here is the cell based components uh, this consists of 45 percent of our blood volume erythrocytes function transport oxygen and carbon dioxide leukocytes our white blood cells fight infection and disease neutrophils engulf and destroy bacteria eosinophil kill parasites basophil produce inflammation lymphocytes mount an immune response monocytes mature into macrophages which engulf debris foreign cells and foreign molecules platelets is essential for blood clotting erythrocytes or our red blood cells is the most abundant blood cells there are about 25 trillion of red blood cells in the 5 liter of blood in the human body they are formed in bone marrow and main function of course to transport oxygen red blood cells circulated in our blood for three to four months before they get worn out uh, once they are worn out they will be broken down in the liver and enzymes will digest it uh, the amino acid will be used to make other proteins uh, whereby iron will be written to the bone marrow why to make more red blood cells the structure of red blood cells is closely related to its function it has small biconcave this shape okay thinner in the center and thicker at the edges uh, this will increase the diffusion rate of oxygen across the plasma membrane. Mature mammalian erythrocytes are also different from other cells whereby they lack nuclei. Uh, this will leave more space for hemoglobin. Uh, you know uh, one hemoglobin molecule binds up to four oxygen molecules. Uh, it also lacks mitochondria because uh, oxygen transport would be less efficient if uh, they were aerobic uh, because you know they will consume oxygen that they carry so the best is uh, they them having anaerobic metabolism an erythrocyte contains about 250 million hemoglobin molecules this is the structure of hemoglobin okay it is iron containing protein that transport oxygen next cellular elements is white blood cells or leukocytes they are different with red blood cells because they are larger and have nuclei they are synthesized in bone marrow and one microliter of human blood contains about 5,000 to 10,000 leukocytes if our body is fighting an infection then their number will increase temporarily they circulate in secretory system interstitial fluid and lymphatic system human blood contains three kinds of granular leukocytes and two types of agranular leukocytes granular leukocytes they have large lobe nuclei and distinctive granules in their cytoplasm the three granular leukocytes are neutrophils eosinophils and basophils there are two types of agranular leukocytes which are monocytes and lymphocytes they are lack of granules and their nuclei are rounded or kidney shape 
Monocytes differentiate into macrophages and engulf bacteria and cellular debris and dendritic cells, whereby lymphocytes produce immune responses against foreign substances in the body. They produce antibodies and attack foreign invaders. When we look under the microscope, we can see numerous red blood cells. These are different types of white blood cells and this is the platelet. The last cellular element is the platelet or thrombocytes. Most vertebrates other than mammals have thrombocytes for blood clotting. Mammals have platelets, tiny spherical or disc shaped fragments of cytoplasm pinched off from large bone marrow cells. They live about 10 days and their lack of nuclei. Thank you.